miss on one signs and art bill uh, both were a radio host art bell American on the one signs Mexican Under One Signs uh, was the host of a Mexican show called uh, La Mano Peluda. Discussed the unknown, unknown hauntings. <coughs> La Llorona. Get some water. Duendes, Nahuales, The Unexplained, I forget what they call the nurse in white, La, La Planchada means the, the ironed one. And Art Bell with his uh, Commentary on Area 51, Bigfoot Sightings, Ghost Stories. I recommend you check out. His show is called a Coast to Coast, but on Halloween it would become Ghost to Ghost. And people will call it with their ghost stories, and some of them, yes. Made my imagination run wild. I was like, fuck. creepy ass shit on there <coughs> but uh, Art Bell and Juan Ramon there uh, they're no longer with us in physical form well they have both passed away George Tenori took over for, for Art Bell on Coast to Coast and um, Juan Gabriel Garcia or some shit like that took over for the Mano Peluda when Juan, 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 when Juan Ramon left. But uh, in, in my opinion, if you hear those shows, in my opinion, one of them is more, what came after was more of a, uh, a disconnected, Uh, it's a somewhat filtered, uh, uh, especially for that fucking Mexican fuck, Gabriel Garcia, fake ass motherfucker. Just a, um, some sort of persona was on the radio. I'm glad that in 2018, January, January of this year, La Mano Peluda was done. Just because this, um, Gabriel Garcia was just, a, in my opinion, a fucking asshole. And I'm glad when he got prank called. I believe he showed his insecurities, uh, someone prank called him and he said, uh, you know, you must have a real s sad life for you to be prank calling my show and... You know, I feel bad for you. Um, even when I had a troll, oh, your hard work sucks. You're an idiot. I just said, where's uh, where's Daddy at? Huh? You need some attention. Need a hug. You can grow up to be a fucking mega cunt. But uh, not to the point that. That I would think uh, that my life is way better than yours. But instead to uh, dissect the reasons why certain things happen, not the, you know, I'm, I'm happier than you are, I'm better than you are. Because we all go through this, uh, you know, through these waves of uh, life where we're at the top, we're heading down, we're going back up, we're down. And some of us could have more hiccups than others. 
but you know talking about the unexplained uh, and because I like privacy I've been told some I remember this one uh, one client who was an uh, an Australian truck driver along the uh, east yeah east along the east coast of Australia he said that uh, he once got so tired and he made a stop and it's he made a stop that uh, he stopped to rest at an area where other truckers before it recommended not recommended to warn them don't ever stop there because there's fucking something there's something up there something unexplained some creatures up there so, you know just don't do it and uh, he was ca carrying a big rig uh, with a load so a little heavy he said he pulled over by himself uh, took a nap he says that when he uh, he was woken up because that this is the truck and this is the head of the truck because it felt like someone was doing this to it <laughs> and moving, moving the fucking truck and he says I'm not stupid enough to go out there and look at what the fuck's doing that just something actually was picking up the big rig and shaking it side to side. Not not as much as that, but he says he could feel the force. But he said that he woke up right away and drove all the way to his destination, wide awake. But this was going going from uh, New South Wales into Brit into Queensland to Brisbane. And uh, yeah, I can tell you, I'm not familiar with the highways or exit stops around there. So I would have remembered. But uh, this, this is a, a dude that uh, straight shooter, direct, and, and clear communication. No reason to fucking make stories up like this. Um, another dude once told me about uh, that as a kid, him and his brother uh, would uh, go home, go from town to home, to the bush to home. And they were real familiar with the shortcuts. To get to their to their home, he says that one time as it was getting dark, they just failed to trek through the, uh, the part that they they already knew and uh, get home. But he says that he remembers him and his brother seeing little creatures. Uh, what do you call it? bipods, bipedals, whatever? Uh, these were not dogs. And they weren't kangaroos with hippity hop legs, or, or what you call, what you call it, or the little ones, uh, what do you call the little kangaroos? Um, fuck, what do you call them? I forget, but uh, he says they weren't kangaroos, they weren't uh, koalas. snakes or nothing like that but he says they, they were on two feet and uh, he says doesn't look, I remember if he said they were gathering stones or fruit from the floor and uh, they were carrying them to a little hill into a little hole in the ground but he noticed that their eyes were glowing red And uh, when they noticed that, that they both just bolted out of there and just 
ran all the way home. This was, that story was also in Australia. I was doing business in Texas. And, uh, somebody made a comment on my, uh, on an alien that I had drawn. And I said something like, you know, aren't you a believer also? It's like, yeah, man, shit, man. That's the only way to, uh, to explain certain things that happen around here. This was near, what's that fucking, south, that town south of, uh, in the southern part of Texas. Not Amarillo. It's below uh, San Antonio. Corpus Christi and uh, he's telling me that uh, I forget it's two, two different separate incidents or just one but he told me that uh, at one point um, he was at home with his missus And they had seen, uh, you know, when a when a car pulls up in your driveway or towards the place where you're at, and the headlights they shine across, they go across the wall where you're at. at the, they're facing towards the street. He says he had seen that, and he says. He said it caught his attention because um, with his driveway, you can't do that. The angle of it, you cannot uh, angle your uh, your headlights in that uh, in that direction. So he went outside and he says that he looked up in the sky and he saw a uh, a blue cylinder. Uh, shaped light in the sky, but he says it looked like a tube And he was like what the fuck is that? <laughs> and then he sees a light go through it and then another light and then the tube disappears And, uh, and these, these were stuff that art built and hundred moon signs that discuss or similar stuff like that. <clears throat> I do think that a lot of people have a lot of shit experiences that are unexplained, to, to say the least. Because you, know, you can't say, uh, you can't rule out that someone had a hologram lights and were testing it out, prototype and made this and that with sound effects. You have no no one fucking knows. You can't guarantee that out. You can't rule that out you know with certainty and again that's why I recommend you fucking travel man That's another thing I look forward to hearing now. Uh, stories of the unexplained.
Artists are there. I want to say, I want to say he was an artiste. Did he buy the painting? But uh, someone else had told me this. That uh, he had a um, picture or drawing, painting of a, was it a dream? Was it a painting or a drawing? But he would hang it in his garage. And uh, <laughs> he said he would come out through uh, different times of the day and night to hear um, ruckus in his garage find that uh, poster just um, you know in a mess of things and he says that uh, there's no way to um, get in there for someone else to have gotten in there and made the mess and get the fuck out of there without him seeing, seeing them and he said he eventually threw the, uh, the painting away I think he had rolled it up, I think. But he says, uh, he couldn't explain that. And, uh, in the, in, let's say, uh, you don't want to make a drawing video because of, uh, well, because I got no talent, man. I'm not as good as you. I don't know how to do anything. All right. Think about that fucking shit later, you motherfucker, because you, you got something, you fucking <laughs> motherfucker but um even if you even if you have a ghost story an unexplained story a UFO something uh something where you were sober <laughs> um awake um and I uh, you can't doubt, cannot doubt that it did happen. But you don't have any doubt that it did happen as you witnessed it. But it goes into the category of unexplained. Of uh, you know that that does not apply to the uh, laws of physics. That does not apply to um, the rules of existence. Or, or something like that, man. If you put your YouTube story on there. And, uh, I, I say go for it, man. Go for it. And I just gotta be careful that in this age, also with. Uh, I've heard, uh, what's the word? Ghost hunters, uh, witch doctors, I'll, I'll cure you. Um, ghost hunters, poltergeist hunters, for a fee, they will help you out and do this and that. Well, it's definitely a, bol a poltergeist, it's not a ghost. Let's give us a thousand dollars for the week and we'll, we'll square it away. Or I'd make a donation here and we could help you out with we'll some prayers or fuck that man. Yeah, but if you have a story like that <clears throat> It'd be cool if you comment comment on it, but if you'd like. But even better would be if you uh made a uh, YouTube video on it because even even if you just were to say I once saw a, a monster I'll try it on here better too because as a kid I would see this one uh, shadow figure one size shadow figure with the hair that's a skull right I just saw a shadow on the floor as, as a silhouette of, of something that was not supposed to be there. But, uh, 
So that's the head, and you know the little hairs on the side when they're bald on top. I like this, the, the hairs on the side where the short, in my opinion, short mad scientist here on the side. And that one, that incident happened me as a kid. Either I was too sick for school, or I was late for school, or some shit. But anyway, Sesame Street time, cartoons, and eating my cereal in front of the television. And from the window, sunlight from a window from another room came towards the TV, towards me. And uh, so you could see, uh, you know you know when there's, uh, when sunlight comes through and you can just see the, well just light on the floor, light shining. And uh, there was a shadow that just, uh, I, I saw coming, just growing and, and stretching, either getting bigger or approaching me on the floor. And, but once I um, had noticed it, the um, shadow started to almost the word disappear, but not not disappear, more like like dissolve, uh, fade away. But yeah, that's that's the shape of the shadow that I saw. No, I did not know anyone at that age. I wonder if I still know it's probably no, much, much later than you. Probably anyone that had a hairstyle like that, uh, bald on top and then hair on the sides. But yeah, I had never known anyone like that or, or had met anyone. Have I met anyone? Yeah, no one should have been um, um, been home um, looking like that. But yeah, if you uh Share your story in the comment section, but even better if you could uh, video it, video it, or it was a tour guide, or draw it. Again, that doesn't have to be a perfect, clean drawing, but man, just to feed the imagination. Um, and I know people are scared, or you know, what do people think that I'm um, I'm weird, or that I smoke meths, the meths. And, Ouija board stories. Art Bell here, Ouija board story, and his experience basically um, made him uh, recall that, made him recall his. Uh, His judgment on, on Ouija boards is that they are portals that uh, they can uh, open uh, doors to bad energy. And uh, he's never, he, as far as I know, he hasn't shared his uh, Ouija board story. He says it's uh, too scary, too dark to elaborate on it.
I recommend you uh, just share your story. If you like, if you like. Motherfuckers. But yeah, man. Uh, actually, thinking about this, it's got me hyped up. A little hyped up. To get back on the road because I also know that uh, shit. Just unknown shit on the fucking highways, and When you're going through them alone in pitch black, yeah, the imagination does kick in. And, uh, I think I turned to my dog. What is that? What is this? What is that? What is that over there? Think that's it for now, motherfuckers. Get after it.